Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Dear students, now we are going to learn our Arabic. Okay, our language, the language of Quran, the language of Jannah, the language of Islam, Arabic. Okay, then you have to be very careful and aware about your language, Arabic. Then now, this is our new academic year. Now we are fighting against Corona, novel coronavirus. I believe that you and your family is very safe and fine. Are you okay? Am I right? Yes. Okay. Let us start. Then, every day, every day we are praying to our God Allah. That that is very compulsory to our life of Muslims, especially in Muslims. And all peoples are praying to their God. Then we, the Muslims, are praying only to Allah. Okay. Then our new lesson, our Arabic is starting with a prayer. A small boy as you. Like you. Or not? You small or big? Uh, now, as you know, you have promoted to 7th class. You are now big students. Then you have to be very careful about your prayer and everything. You have to follow only good deeds and you have to obey the parents and teachers. Now, I am giving you a new lesson of a good boy. It is revealing his good deeds and his submission to Allah. Okay, let us start. This is very nice poem to hear. And this is very nice poem to hear and read. Then you have to follow me. If you are not following, you may lose everything about this lesson. Then you, you should have to follow me. Will you join with me when I am singing, when I am reading that poem? Will you join? Okay. Then I will start. Let us read that poem at first time. Okay. Then just open your book. Then before that, let us write our lessons heading in your notebook. You just open your notebook and write the heading first lesson. What? Rajai. What to say? Once more. Rajai. What? Rajai. What is the meaning of Rajai? What is the meaning of Rajai? Anyone can say? What is the meaning of Rajai? That is needed in our student's life. For our better future. Do you know what is the meaning of Raja? -e? Yes, I am going to say. Just write. Raja -e means hope. Raja -e means hope. Raja -e means hope. Then Raja -e. You may get its answer. Raja E means means my hope. My hope Raja E when we are adding with a noun ya when we are adding ya with a noun it becomes mine. Kitabi kalami. Okay, like that. Then our poem's name is Raja E my hope. It is intending to Allah, our God, Allah. Okay, now let us start. <coughs> I am poor in singing, then I am going to read that poem, then you have to follow me. Okay? Hmm.
before that i'm sorry before that we have to discuss about our poet before that let us discuss about our poet that's better to sing because with knowing about our poet then that poem is becoming very powerful okay then just open your book and take page number 9 there is that bio data about our poet okay i will read then you can understand just look that column that green column just look huwa abu ishaq ismail ibn al qasim ibn subaid al aini his name is abu ishaq ismail son of al qasim son of subaid al aini that's his father's name father's and grandfather's name okay then next kunyatuhu abul atahiya his famous name nickname his nickname pen name is abul atahiya his name his nickname is abul atahiya kunyat kunyat means kunyat kunyatun means nickname you also may have like this names nicknames like babudi gunyuti like that okay it's okay then his nickname was abul atahiya next wulida fi ain at-tamri that's name of place that's a place name wulida he was born wulida he was born fi ain at-tamri that's place name ain at-tamri like balakandi kadapadi like that ain at-tamri okay follow me kana ba'an lil jirari kana he was ba'an trader ba'an means businessman or trader trader ba'an lil jirari jirar means tractor jirarun means tractor then as you know as we are doing he was a worker then next nallama shaira wa nabagha fihi nallama shaira wa did you copy this all okay i am going to repeat نلم الشعر ونبغ فيه ونلم الشعر he was he wrote the poems he wrote the poems ونبغ فيه and became in it he was immersed he was continued to write poems he was very interested to write the poems ونبغ فيه means he became on it okay okay كان يجيد القول في الزهد والمدح he was good to say he was interested to write poems or share thoughts which one he was interested he was good to say what fi zuhdi wal madhi zuhd means asceticism what just write in your notebook asceticism what this means asceticism means that someone someone is removing and avoiding everything from his life avoiding everything from his life like entertainment and enjoyment and the craziness he is removing avoiding everything from his life for what for worship of allah that is zuhd you can see some people that uh, they are walking without uh, with uh, <coughs> waist dresses like that some people he was interested to say to share poems on that thoughts okay wa aksari anwa'i shiri fi asrihi in his era 
in his age there was a lot of poems but most of it was written by this poet abu al-atahiya he is very famous okay he is very famous mala ila tanassuk wa zahudi he was moved mala means moved mala moved mala ila tanassuk wa zahudi same meaning tanassuk wa zahudi asceticism that we discussed before okay wa taraka he avoided he avoided taraka means taraka means avoided wa taraka allahwa wal mujun wa taraka allahwa wal mujun what is the meaning of lahwa what is the meaning of lahwa lahwan means lahwan means entertainment entertainment he was avoided lahwa entertainment and wal mujun wal mujun means craziness mujun craziness okay craziness then the biography of biodata of that poet is over then now we are going to read that poem then as i told you you have to join with me okay let us start before everything i am telling i am very poor to sing in singing okay <coughs> rajai sri rajai ഇലാഹിലാത്തുഅസ്ബിനി <coughs> You read? Okay. Next line. Then, first line, let us discuss now. I am going to explain about that line. Okay. Ilahi. Ilahi means, my God, Ya Allah. Ilahi means, my God, Ya Allah. La tu'azzibini. لا تعذبني لا تعذبني means عذاب عذاب is عذاب عذاب means torment torment okay torment from Allah then لا تعذبني my God لا تعذبني you don't torment me لا تعذبني you don't torment me because fa inni muqirrun fa inni muqirrun fa inni muqirrun means muqirrun just copy to your notebook okay fa inni muqirrun i am agreeing inni muqirrun ni muqirrun i am agreeing i am agreeing that فَإِنِّي مُقِرٌ بِالَّذِي قَدْ كَانَ مِنِّي بِالَّذِي قَدْ كَانَ مِنِّي means what happened from me I am agreeing that what happened from me so Ya Allah don't torment me okay then let us continue our lesson inshallah now we are going then you have to study that biodata of that poet and this first lesson then if possible you you are possible able to read that all that lessons uh, lines then you have to read that poem then okay you have to read poem and find out 
the photo of sorry and find out the bio data of poet then we have got very short bio data of this poet then if we search in any website then you can in any website then you can find out his uh, bio data very clearly you have to find out okay then let us see keep in your prayers assalamu alaikum